Good morning and welcome to the Morning Coffee with John Plassard. Today I'm focusing on Africa in the 21st century. So far, populous countries and strong population growth were most often associated with Asia. But this view of the world will have to change in the future. While in 2020, 5 out of 10 most populous countries in the world were located in Asia, the picture will look different in 2100 when five African countries, Nigeria, Ethiopia, Tanzania, Egypt, and the Democratic Republic of the Congo will be among the world's 10 largest. While some Asian countries will continue to grow, they will do so at a lower rate and will be surpassed in population by African countries exhibiting faster growth. Other like China and Bangladesh are actually expected to shrink until 2100, mainly result of higher standard of living and education that has already begun to lower birth rate. In 1950, four European countries were still among the world's largest. That number will have decreased to one in 2020 and none in 2100. The number of children born worldwide is already decreasing, but at current 2.1 2.5 children born per woman, world population is still growing. UN population researcher found that if the global fertility rate kept dropping at the rate it currently is, that will, it will reach 1.9 children per woman in 2100, at which point the world population will actually be decreasing. Finally, as a reminder, the African continent has a land area of 30.37 million square kilometers, enough to fit the US, China, India, Japan, Mexico, and many European nations combined. Is it not the moment to reconsider Africa in terms of investment? Thank you very much. Have a great day, read my morning, and keep on winning.